Hello and welcome to Chatterbox. I'm Siobhan, your host, and coming up on the show today, we'll be looking at Martin Scorsese's series Vinyl, which looks at the sex, drugs, and rock and roll lifestyle of the music industry in the 1970s. With me today, we have two very special guests, Chatterbox producer, Shane, so I'm on my best behavior, <laughs> and uh, media performance student, Amina. Welcome back, guys. Well, welcome back, Amini and uh, Shane. It's nice to have you in front of camera, kind of. Also a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> um, People have turned. Yeah, they have. Yeah. They have, you know. So we are now on episode three of Vinyl. Yes. Um, I'm really getting into it. Mm. And what about Loving it. you guys? Loving it. I like the vibe. Yeah, nice. it's really nice. Really, it's, what do you mm. like about it? What's I like this a bit more gritty than a lot of the stuff on TV at the moment. We're kind of, we're approaching sort of the staple gritty television time of year we got like game of thrones and so this is sort of bringing us into that sort of thing mm. not gently but it's it's bringing us into it <laughs> definitely so, not yeah. Yeah. gently this week yeah. i like the action of it not like the action like in scary but like the thrill of it how yeah. it's all happening how it's yeah, set how the story yeah sort of i love unfold, how it yeah. all comes all together yeah nice. okay so what we're going to do is run a vt so you guys at home can catch up on episode three I need you to spin this so that it doesn't look like we're a sinking ship. Are we? No. We're taking on a little bit of water, that's all. Did you or did you not sell the company? Can we not talk about this right now? We're the nasty bits. What happened to the band I heard? Please! I'm offering you an opportunity. I lost my voice because of you. At least tell me you'll think about it. You're becoming a really hard guy to track down. Like one of those animals that people hunt. A deer? No, Richie. A buck. So that was vinyl. Yeah. Um, obviously, you can see that uh, Richie is still, as our protagonist, uh, yeah. kind of losing mm. the plot a little bit. He was caught up in the murder in episode one in our pilot, yeah. uh, where Chuck, who was a huge radio producer, was killed. And he was there at the murder scene. Um, we found the body. Well, we didn't find yeah. the body, but they <laughs> found the body. Yeah. The, the body, body was found yeah. this week. Mm. Uh, Shane, what do you think we should expect? You know, after the murder in episode one, we didn't really see much of it in episode two. So I was sort of starting to think, where, where are they going to take this? Is it going to be sort of a big, a big thing for Richie throughout, throughout this first series? And now that we found the body and we've seen sort of just as things were starting to get back on track for Richie mm. in, like, terms of, in terms of his business and what he wants to do, they threw the, the body had been found in. And so I'm excited to see exactly how that progresses for him as a character, because obviously this is something he's never ever been involved in before like even though he's done the sex he's done the drugs he's done the mm. rock and roll thing usually you tie in murder with that and mm. it, that's something he hadn't really experienced before and i think it's nice to see a character that is still shell-shocked by the fact mm. that they've just seen someone's face pummeled mm. in front of them are you empathizing with richie though because personally this week i feel as though the ep the intention of the episode was for us to take more of a dislike to richie i mean we found out that the blue singer who is, uh, takes a huge part of mm. the soundtrack in vinyl, and he's yeah. fantastic, yeah. Um, who was signed with Richie, lost his voice because of Richie. Yeah. Um, we also found out that because of Richie, his wife couldn't fund a dance project that meant a lot to her. We also found out that <laughs> because of Richie, he um, hadn't sold the company, which was leading to the fact That's that him and his happened. wife have no money almost yeah. and one more because of Richie yeah. we saw Alice who uh, one of the guys who works for Richie's company nearly signed before Alice had stitched him up mm. and said Richie used to let us down before we were un be when we were unsigned when we weren't signed even um, and now that we're signed yeah. why would we go to him so Shane how are you feeling towards Richie I still really like him I think we are, it's setting him up for a redemption arc sort of thing mm. for this series. I like that all this stuff has happened in the past and we're not, we're not seeing him make those mistakes. And if we are, it's through the, those flashback scenes. Um, flashbacks are a massive feature I of love Scorsese films. I love they it. Are. Uh, do you think they're working well in vinyl? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes it takes me a while to pick up that it is a flashback because sometimes uh, the characters will look almost exactly the same as they do in modern day. And so I won't initially pick up it, it, it is a flashback, but then certain things will happen and certain things will be said and it will cut back to modern day. I'm like, oh, wait, that was a flashback. Mm. And so I, don't, I think they could be made a bit clearer mm. as to when they are flashbacks. But other than that, I do enjoy seeing as well as hearing of these events that have happened in the past. Mm. No, I feel like I can understand when there's a flashback, though. I don't think you do. Yeah, cuz I can tell from the difference between it. Yeah. What differences but, do you Like notice? the way how he acts before and the way he is now. I yeah. mean from all the they accuse him of being all the troublemaker and everything. Yeah. And then before how he's learned from his lesson but at the same time he does it again. Yeah. But I still feel I can see the difference contrast between him. I yeah. don't know. I don't know how you feel about that. No. I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, no. Quite, uh, quite, quite honest. <laughs> definitely. Quite to the point, Shane. <laughs> no, no, I no. do not no. agree. I no. agree. But I you, agree. Yeah. <laughs> but, Fine, whatever. It's fine. Uh, but you mentioned the Alice Cooper um, appearance this week yes. with the mm. band signing, and right. yeah, and I really, I really like the fact he appeared this week. I think, I think seeing popular figures that everyone sort of knows mm. appearing in in the show is really mm. good for sort of grounding the show in reality. Like even though it's it is a drama at the end of the day, it it, it has certain pockets of this. This is real. This is this could have been what actually happened. I mean, we've got Andy Warhol now, who appeared, who'd made that painting that was sold, um, who I didn't even realise it was Andy Warhol until we yeah. saw the signature on the painting. Like, He's a brilliant character. Oh, a big artist. I love, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Andy Warhol. Brilliant. He makes me laugh because he's so... Flamboyant? Yeah, yeah, no, well, yeah he is. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he is. You know, he's very... He's, He's in his own little bubble. He's a very good, very, mm. very good character. I, I'd is. like to see more of him. Yeah. I'd really mm. like to see more of him. And how are we feeling towards, um, for example, actor Ray Romano, his character who works alongside Richie, um, they are struggling with money as families now, uh, yeah. with their families, and um, because Richie made that decision when he was high and, and mm. ran into the office um, uh, to not sell the company. Uh, which I actually noticed sort of was con kind of had a connection to the scene in Wolf of Wall Street, mm. which is also Martin Scorsese, does, yeah. where Leonardo DiCaprio's character decides he doesn't want to sell the company. He doesn't mm, want yeah. to give up his position. He just makes as, it bigger. Exactly. Um, so do you think that maybe like Wolf of Wall Street was expanded and then crashed? Do you think this might happen with Richie's business now that he chose not to sell? I don't know. I mean, obviously we're seeing the repercussions it has, not just for Richie, but for other characters, more specifically Ray Romano's character. Mm. Um, and it's really weird seeing Ray Romano in this, in, this sort of, in this sort of thing, because I'm used to seeing him from Everybody Loves Raymond and Ice Age. Yeah. And so well, go, going from that to mm. this, it's, 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 it's just weird seeing him in a more... It's like any, any comedian you see sort of doing a more serious role. It's like Robin Williams in a few films. It was weird seeing him doing proper serious. But, but I love actors like that. Yeah, I love yeah, when I see people he's doing very different diverse, stuff. And yeah. he's I love doing, that. I think he's doing a fantastic yeah, job. Yeah, he is. He mm. is. Um, and his character is very believable yeah. and very likable, mm. I feel. Um, so next week, what are we expecting to see from Richie? Do you think at the end of the episode, we mm. saw that the, the band, could you, do you, the Nasty Bits? The Nasty Bits. Mm. The Nasty Bits band. Uh, he took quite a liking to yeah. in the end. Do you think that maybe he's, he's found a new project and he's going to make something of them next week? I think so. I hope so. Okay. Anyway, I hope something goes right because I can see a lot of things still going wrong, mm. yeah. wrong for him. Um, obviously, the body's been found. Mm -hmm. uh, his wife's sort of hating him he, she is. at yeah. the moment. And, you know, and I don't blame her. I, yeah, I yeah, agree as well. So, I agree so. as well. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to wait until next week mm, to find yeah. out exactly what's going to happen with Richie and his poor wife, Devon, because mm. he just keeps letting her down. Mm. Uh, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Uh, and you get back behind the scenes because <laughs> it's too nerve-wracking <laughs> having you here. Uh, but unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this week. Uh, thank you to our amazing guests and join us next time. Bye for now.